Okay, now then, um, you're recharged, or at least the camera's recharged, and I've actually done something whilst I've been away, whilst you've been away, I've um, pre-drilled the rails here to A, attach to the legs for some reinforcement on those glue joints, because obviously, although we've got a dovetail detail, it's not actually adding any strength because there's not a pin on this side. And I've also pre-drilled and bored for uh, holes to attach the two tops. Now I'm just going to go through and do pilot holes for these screws before I glue the rails on. didn't explain the massive clamps. The clamps are all holding all the joints up nice and tight where I want them to end up and that's obviously where I want the screws to go in as well. That time it took me to do the, uh, the drilling in the rails, lay that out. Uh, I did it on drill press as well so it's powered uh, working or plugged in working. That's an extra 13 minutes that I've got to add to the, the total time. Actually about 12.37 or something. But we'll add 13 minutes onto the plugged in time. Now I just want to run one of the screws in to make sure that that pilot's deep enough. I'm not going to have any problems later. Excellent. So now I'm going to take the clamps off, I'll put the whole thing upside down so it's nice and flat on the bench, uh, glue up the rails and screw them in and that should be it. Now if you're someone who loves seeing things being unclamped, glued, clamped and screwed back together then you're going to love the next few minutes. But for those who don't like that sort of thing let me just tell you about the SketchUp model that's available for download from my website. It's almost the same as the bench I'm making. I did uh, unify the angle of the, the cant of the legs, whereas the one I've built, the, the angle is slightly different on the towards the front and towards the back. So there's a SketchUp model for you. You can play around with that, resize it, etc. if you want to. Uh, additionally, you can also download a set of plans which uh, match the SketchUp model and should make it a lot easier for you to build than it did for me to build without any plans. And finally there's also an Instructable available on the Instructables website. Now, if you're not so interested in uh, watching this speeded up gluing process then you can skip forward to about 7 minutes 30.
I've let this sit overnight so it should be rock solid by now. Certainly hope so. I'm going to clear off the bench, get ready for putting the two separate tops on. Now I've been considering how to actually do that and I think probably the best way is to, uh, to attach it with screws but to align it with some dry dowels. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Axminster no longer sell these F clamps, so which is probably just as well, seeing as uh, one out of six of mine has this uh, fault on it where the, the clamping head, uh, the screw head, falls off the clamp. Uh, I actually understand that the clamps they do now are quite a lot better. So, here's the uh, saw bench. That is what I would call the rear face, facing me is what I call the front face, so the front face is perpendicular to the ground, the rear face is canted backwards, uh, the idea is to sawing in this direction when cross cutting uh, just takes a little bit extra um, stress relief doing it that way I feel. Um, same really with side to side when rip cutting, cutting in that direction we've got the legs canted forwards. So there we go, and the boards that want to go on top are this one, going to go there, this one here. At this point I was just finalising how I was going to put the top on and whether I was going to be flush with the back or overhang a bit. And I've decided to go flush with the back. So that's how I want it to go. Um, now I would like to have some dry dowels, and I've got some 8mm dowels somewhere, or possibly, let's check that out. Some 10 mil dowels and dowel pops. So if I can find, make sure I have actually got some 10 mil dowels around the place. Well, I can't find the dowels right now. I'll stop the clock. Uh, I'm going to go and uh, 
See if I can find the downs, otherwise I have to make some. Success, we have 10 mil dowels. Let's start the clock again. I believe I'm taking 10 minutes just to turn this upside down, take the clamps off and find some dowels. But anyway, this is how I want it to end up. Um, I'm using, well I shall use the dowel pops to do it because it's uh, certainly the quickest way. I don't believe I've made a 10 mil doweling template, so we'll use those. That'll work perfectly okay, but uh, I would like to just try and align everything. So I'll put some, have some blocks down on the bench. So that when I drop the, the table, the, um, the legs on, everything sits nicely together. So that can go on there. I'm trying to be clever here by angling the blocks to match the legs. I just want everything to drop into place when I drop it down on the dowel pops eventually. So, lift it out and I can drop it in tight against those and press it down. Yeah, that should work. Now I need to know where I'm going to put the initial dowels. Then we'll go to the legs, so they want to be in between there and that section. And within that, and within that. I think dowels are very underrated. There are many projects you can use them on. Rather than these days everyone seems to be obsessed with dominoes.
Oh, yeah, Now I'm just digging out a uh, vertical drilling guide that I've had for a while. It just helps to um, to align vertical holes and uh, although doing the top it's quite easy because I've got a large reference surface to look at, uh, doing the tops of the legs it's perhaps a little more tricky. <laughs> So the idea is to place this uh, plastic plate using a little pin that uh, centers it over the hole, then remove that pin with its bushing, put in a bushing the correct size for the hole I want to drill, 10 mil, hold on tight and just drill it. I'm definitely in my hole, if you'll pardon the expression. Now I forgot to restart the camera just then, uh, all I've done is cut uh, three of the dowels down and that was the fourth one just so that it fits in, uh, in the holes I've got. I couldn't go full depth because of the screws that are going in at the end of the rails. flush on the front and at the back. Just drive some screws in through those uh, holes I, I previously made in the rails and the uh, jobs are good one. So let's flip it over. Well, let's clean the bench off a bit. Flip it over. Pilot for those screws. I'm not sure whether I mentioned earlier when I drilled the rails that um, the clearance holes I've drilled are slightly oversized. I've done 6mm holes whereas they only really need about uh, 4.5 to 5mm holes for the screws and that just allows for a little bit of expansion and contraction of the top boards.
Now I'm just using the um, clearance drill bit I used to tap through some center holes for the um, pilot holes that I'm going to drill into the top boards. Oh, I think you missed that on the camera. I just uh, just pinch my finger underneath the leg. Uh, there will still be a little bit of flushing up to do on the edges. The back side of the top board should probably be beveled to match the uh, the can to the back legs as well. But uh, once I've screwed this on, I'm going to call that it for the build. I've got plenty of other things I need to get on with. And I'll come back and do a, uh, a future video uh, on some of the additions to this that I'll be making. And I'll be I'll do one. Sorry, you can't see that, can you? Excuse me, I wrapped it to put these screws in. One saw bench. <laughs> now it's too zoomed in, you can't see it. I need a cameraman. Anyone want to offer to be my cameraman? One saw bench. Probably around the wrong way, but canted legs this side. There we go. On the Sawyer's bench. Hope you've enjoyed the build. I certainly have. It's taken, me, uh, it's taken me longer in terms of number of days over which I've made it than I thought it would, but I think it's actually taken me, and let's stop the watch now. Stop. Uh, it's not giving me a total time. It's HTC, and for some reason it's stopwatch. 
doesn't total more than um, I think it's 100 minutes, it goes back to zero. But I've got all the lap times, I shall add them all up and, uh, and put it at the end of the video. So I've really enjoyed doing this. I'll say it's taken me more days. I think this is day, did I start on Thursday or Friday? This might actually be the fifth day um, of actually doing some work on it. But uh, in terms of hours, I'm pretty certain I've spent it's either 30 minutes or 40 minutes with power tools, uh, mainly right at the beginning, but then also drilling the holes. I did use a pillar drill. And uh, hand tools, I think, I'm pretty certain that's below what I thought the total bill would be. I thought the total bill might be about 12 hours. I think we're closer to, to nine. Uh, that's what, I've only got that in my head. <laughs> I'll have to add them up and find out. But uh, really enjoyed doing it. I think it's gonna be a great addition. Thanks for watching, and if you'd like to see more videos like this, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Cheerio!